On this video, I'm talking pricey mods. Which ones would we do again? Now, these are pricey mods that we liked and that we would do again. I know this list could totally be different for different people, but I wanted to go over my favorites and what I would do again. So one of my favorite pricey mods that we did was the RV locks. Now I know there is tons of different brands that you can do, but we did do the RV lock brand. We did our door first that one we did about a year in and it has held up great. Now it is four or five years old and it is the keypad cover is starting to crack and we can order a new cover for it. I just haven't messed with it. I probably should. Water may be getting in there and it may quit working. But we absolutely love not having to have a key to get in our RV because the reason that made us get it I don't know how, but the dogs were in the camper. We were outside the camper. The keys to the RV were inside the camper and the dogs locked the door. So we were outside, they were inside, and we thought we were gonna have to break a window to get in. Luckily, somebody else's key that was in the camp area worked our door, which is scary to think about that, that somebody else could just walk up and open the door. After that scare, we decided to go ahead and get the RV lock for the door. We absolutely loved it so much. Just the fact that you can do in and out. Now, I know some people might be worried that the battery might die and you can't get in. We're really bad about just uh, using the keypad and not carrying around the fob, but it will start beeping at you and give you notice that the battery's gonna die and since we've had it, it's been five years. We've only, in that five years, we've only replaced the batteries two times. And one was just recently. So I would say as much as we use the camper, the battery life on it, it probably lasted right around two, two and a half years each time. We loved the door lock so much that we bought the ones for the cargo area and installed those, I guess a couple years ago game changer. It was so nice to be able to have one key fob. We hit one button, locks the door, one button, locks both of the cargo areas, and we're done. We don't have to walk around and make sure. And they beep as you lock it. We did an install video on the cargo ones, and I will link that in case you want to watch that video, but they're super easy to install. Since we're at the front door, let's talk about my window. I love looking out our window and the other RV window had the obscured glass so you couldn't see out of it. So we replaced it with the one that has the shade in it. While it's not as expensive as you think, it still is a little bit more pricey, but I would do it again. Now the only thing that I would do again, and I had several people tell me this after the fact, is to flip the window upside down so that the blind comes up from the bottom and you can leave the top open. You know what? I hardly ever close that blind. I love having the open clear glass window. Also, I'm gonna link everything that I can in the description box below. Now, I did a video a few weeks back talking about snap pads and whether they were worth it or not, and I will link that video, but I would do the snap pads again for us, we love them. I would for sure do it, even though snap pads doesn't make them for our camper anymore. I'd be sad if something happened to ours, but I absolutely love having the snap pads and not having to worry about trying to make sure that we hit the block of wood when the leveling gear comes down. One of the very first pricey mods that we made, and now, this could be something that it might not be important to you, but Bill loves watching TV and he loves watching sports while we're traveling. And while we were in Colorado Springs, the very first big trip that we went on, we had 
a satellite that you set out, well, it fell over and it quit working. We ended up finding a satellite guy out there and he came and looked at it. He came and looked at it and fixed it. And then he was talking about that he could put an automatic one up on the top of our RV. And we're like, well, do we want to do that? He came to our campsite at Colorado Springs and installed that automatic satellite up on the top. We absolutely love not having to set it up or mess with it. Because before, you know, you had to sit it on the ground, try to figure out what direction you needed to go, change the, the change the tilt, all that. This, you press one button and it goes and finds it. It did mess up, I would say about two and a half years in, it just quit working. The company that had made the actual satellite unit sent us a totally new motor and everything at no charge. It was still covered under the warranty. So we would definitely do the automated satellite system. Another big pricey mod is changing out your mattress. And we did not want to do this in the very beginning. We just put a mattress cover. But when I decided to change ours from a queen to a king, which I will link that whole video up here, it's a whole series, we changed out the mattress. And oh my gosh, it has made such a big difference. I wish we hadn't have waited because mattresses, they can be expensive. I will link the one that we did in the description box. We are very happy with it and have enjoyed it so much. Now my final RV mod, I'm not necessarily gonna say that this is actually on the RV, but it has something to do with the RV. And I am very upset that we waited so long to do this. And that is our RV cover. If you don't travel full time and you do have a home base that your camper stays in, do yourself a favor and get an RV cover. I'm telling you, our camper took a beating in the sun and the weather. And since we've gotten the RV cover, we don't have any problems. It really makes the inside of the camper so much cooler because it is covered. I feel like it takes so much wear and tear off of your camper. I cannot stress how much an RV cover changes the life of your camper. I know we probably pulled several years of life off of our camper and I did a whole video on what size we did and all the steps that I did to get it done and I'll link that video. Well, I hope this video made you spend some money or made you think about it. Till next time, like and subscribe.